Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Gauss law. The law states that the total flux of the electric field E over any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times the net charge enclosed by the surface. Phi is equal to Q by epsilon 0. This closed imaginary surface is called Gaussian surface. Application of Gauss law Feel due to an infinite long straight charged wire. Consider an uniformly charged wire of infinite length having a constant linear charge density lambda change per unit length. Let P be a point at a distance R from the wire and E be the electric field at the point P. A cylinder of length L Radius R closed at each end by plane caps normal to the axis is chosen as Gaussian surface. Consider a very small area ds on the Gaussian surface. By symmetry, the magnitude of electric field will be the same at all points on the curved surface of the cylinder and directed radially outward. Vector E and vector ds are along the same direction. The electric flux phi through curved surface is equal to integral E ds cos theta. Phi is equal to integral E into ds. Theta is equal to 0. Cos theta is equal to 1. E is equal to 2 pi r l. The surface area of the curved part is 2 pi r l. Since vector E and vector ds are right angles to each other, the electric flux through the plane caps is equal to 0. Total flux through the Gaussian surface phi is equal to E into 2 pi r l. The net charge enclosed by Gaussian surface is Q is equal to lambda L. By Gauss law, E into 2 pi R L is equal to lambda L by epsilon naught or E is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught R. The direction of electrical field E is radially outward if line charge is positive and inward if the line charge is negative. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.